Hey guys, Zara back with you. Just had this trade, 30 point winner on the Dow. Watching closely now for a potential second entry right now. Ah, just gotta get rid of this marker. You just heard a little frustration from me there, didn't you? It's not something you hear very often. Um, it doesn't happen very often. I need to be alert to that. All right, this is not a big deal. If I find myself getting any kind of uh, rushing or anxious. I need to be aware and alert to that. I don't think that's what I'm feeling, but I'm going to really be monitoring. And now guys entered right there. You see that the pull back to the white line entering again for another short. This time I'm going to risk 15. I'm going to risk 15 just for 20 guys. It's a really range bound market here. Looking for 20 Bear with me for one moment. It's going to get, make sure my targets are correct on my platform and yes this is a trend continuation trade guys trend continuation targeting 579 that's 35,579 patience Managing this very closely. This is a one minute chart. Trend continuation, right? So, first the zone reversal impulse down took advantage of that. A nice orderly pullback to about 50%, a bit more, probably about a 618 on the Fibonacci, give or take. Let's take a look. Yeah, there it is, 618. See it? right there that line I don't use Fibonacci lines anymore I'm doing that for you I just kind of see them um, after all these years I can I can just see them by looking at the candles and uh, looking for this to continue the impulse move down here in power hour it's 309 p.m. by the way certainly no guarantees there's lots of buying up the dip going on these days and so this could be a, just getting another big buy up here for a hundred percent of this move instead of the 618 that I just showed you. All right, and drop off this trade market. Don't need it. You saw where I took that. It's the video beside this one on YouTube. After I um, upload this one, of course. But you'll notice something there. I'll bring you back to this right at the beginning of the video when I didn't have my uh, I couldn't get over to the, my marker quote fast enough and you heard me go ah that frustration now I want to reiterate that's something that I'm very much attuned to and have developed over the many years is to hear for those cues and those clues as to my emotional state and my mood state and uh, because that stuff can get out of hand very very quickly when you're in a, in a trade it can turn into things like aggression revenge trading, forcing trades, over trading, all of these things which can be devastating to a trading account. And all the good work you've done for the last week, two weeks, month, or year can be undone very, very quickly. And so I encourage you to think about those things too. Listen to yourself. Listen to your breathing. Listen to the patterns of behavior. Listen to the way you're talking to your cat or your dog or your, your wife or your children if you have kids. I know many of you are probably too young to have kids, but um, to, your, to your friends, because these things absolutely matter. They play a part, and monitoring them is very important, as far as I'm concerned. Because I'm moving my stop to break even. Very high chance of getting stopped out here, unless we drive all the way down. That would be nice. Let's see if we can get that done. Patience now. for one more move down here guys 20 points now my stop is a break even I'm just putting this back because it looks nicer I like to see the red and the green if you watch my other videos you know I always do that but the, in my, my brokerage platform I don't trade from trading view uh, which is what you're looking at here uh, I am at break even patience 
operations. Can we get one more push down here? I've had to be very choosy with my trades today. Again, sitting out of, well, really all day until about, I think it was two o'clock when I took my first trade. Um, it was just over here. So yeah, after two. And sending notes to my Telegram group all day explaining why I'm not doing anything and just sitting on my hands. Warned everybody, I warned on Twitter and warned my group before we even started today that this is Monday and Manic Monday, Meandering Monday, and to be very, very careful. And you can see why. These are patterns that you, you learn over time. You learn to trust. All right, guys, I'm going to move my stop back. Hopefully you caught that uh, back to where it was, where it is now. I'm going to actually move it to 10 points. Give this thing a little bit more room. You will see me occasionally do this uh, after I've tightened the stop. Now, this is not moving back my original stop, which is uh, almost unheard of for me to do. This is about a stop that was way up here, if you remember, tightening it to break even, and then I'm moving it to 10 points. And that's only because of what I'm seeing here, this meandering action on the S&P and the NASDAQ, giving it a little bit more breathing room. So I did that on my platform and then clicked um, unmute here so I could show you what, I, what I've done. So I would have been stopped out of break even there, but giving it a bit more breathing room based on unfolding information, right? This is about the dance and the letter of the law versus the spirit of the law. As a general rule, if I've moved this stop, if I've tightened the stop or moved the stop forward towards my entry, I generally do not move it back again. But there are exceptions to those, those rules, those guidelines. Um, there is no exception to adding to a losing trade. I will not add to a losing trade. If you ever see me do that, I have absolutely broken a rule. I wasn't dancing, I was breaking a rule. Um, if you see me uh, move back my original stop more than a point or two, uh, I've broken my rules. It's not a dance, it's not unfolding information. This is very much about the dance. New information in through here. I'm purposely taking quite a bit of time explaining that um, because I I am so big on having rigid, well, fairly rigid rules, mechanical rules, taking discretion out of the vast majority of trading and so on. But there are also nuances. There is an art and, uh, and room for discretion when you've been trading a long, long time and you understand the footprint or get a better understanding of the footprint of the marketplace. And uh, this is why we're, we're watching unfold here. This is a zigzag correction right a b so a to b c d long d and then uh, potentially dropping down from there we'll see if it does you will see it play out and you'll understand exactly why i did what i did and again playing into what i'm seeing here needing to give this a little bit more room because these are being given room and imperfect symmetry, right? There's nothing wrong. This is not a bullish structure as such. It is rising prices, but it's still within very much a impulse down, corrective up, impulse down, corrective up, right? It's an orderly move. But in order to, in order to allow these to play out normally, play out normally, I need to let this one play out normally. But that would meant that would have meant me being stopped out right there. Remember that? over here right stopped out right there and so that's the dance looking for that resumption now the push down this is actually a valuable lesson on on price action dancing candle anatomy um, being firm with your rules but no not so rigid that you you miss the spirit of the law versus the letter of the law. I'll put 
little jump pause for now, bring you back. Here we go, guys. Pushing down, looking to make a new low for the move. Trying to break that wick right there. The forces that were there are still in play. We're looking to blast through that and hammer this thing down. This is a which is big picture zone reversal trade, but it's a trend continuation. Remember, I took the zone reversal trade initially here, pulling up, and then trend continuation down. Tcon trade from a bigger picture zone reversal. I apologize for the repetition, guys, but I know that some of the traders that are, are new to either my work here or new to trading need to hear things um, over and over again, but also in different ways with different phraseology and things like that. It seems to to help install the, the new programming. And back on pause. One more push, guys. Can we do it? I think we can. Three, two, one, go. Did I jinx it? Nope, there it is. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate your support. That's uh, trade number three, one in the UK and two in New York, but all in the afternoon and after 2 p.m. I had to really wait on this meandering Monday. Thanks again, guys. Please click the like button if you don't mind, if you like what we're doing here, and I'll see you soon. Have a good night. Take care.